Hi, how y'all doing? This is Joanna here with a Mariner Friday. Um, yeah, really weird how that works. Sometimes you want to do a video and then you realize I said something I shouldn't have said, and then here we are. You know, like one of those things where you're just like, damn it, that was like so close. Yeah. Oops. Oh, and yeah, one. So, oh. So yeah, I really do want to apologize, not just for that, but because I mean, y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> One of those things of like, you didn't hear it, so I might as well just ignore it. I just want to apologize for the whole week of like, basically making, uh, basically making silent uh, content, you know, which is not what I want to do. I've been under so many different things, you know. He's out. Yeah, I don't really like admitting that because it's not right to put that into like a video, but hey, what you gonna do, it's, it's, it just is, you know? Oh. It just is, and then it's yep. like, you okay. know, how are you gonna react? You gonna stop the video and do what I had to do like about an hour or two ago? I was like, damn it. You know, it was like one of those... I better stop making the video and, like, just not air it because I don't want to get in trouble. He's safe. Oh. Yeah, I thought I was going through something. Apparently it wasn't a big deal, so there I am. Yeah. All ones that count. So much. I'm late. Especially when you're just like, I don't want to oh, just account. stop. Yeah, what's that now? You know? <sighs> yeah, it didn't really look like anything to be worried about, but, you know, give it some time, give it some, you know, things, and I was like, okay, let's just do that, you know? Versus like One rushing ball, to judgment, and I was about to start unplugging the headset to finish out the Royals. That was the team I was doing, and I was like, "No, nah, let's just um, let's just start uh, saying things you can't say." You know? get too down just yet one and you know, one be honest with you like this is a team i do the mariners i do like all these teams i try to rotate them in and out but sometimes it's just one one team is going to get the oh you're the team that just happened to be available and this is it you know this kind of is it because it's like one of those things i'm like yeah, what am I going to do? I'm going to keep passing up the Mariners. Like, they have some classic unis. They're a bad team. I like to rebuild teams. Let's, let's go, you know? And I like to do that too. Let them help or whatever. Oh. Of all things I got going on, I'm like, I really don't need one of them to be an issue, you know? Serious ass issue. You know what I mean? Like that would suck. That would be like the worst. You know, not to get too deep into it again. I'm like, crap, I'm going down that hole. <laughs> but I'm also like aware of like hey, possibilities and like always good, you know? I mean that was good, right? We got I mean good, but I could have also got a free pitch in my life. You know? It's all on how you work it. That was a nice one, right? That was like, oh, well, I needed something good to happen. You know, and that happened, so there we go. Another good thing.
middle there as he goes for two. Which is kind of weird because he's not really a double guy, but and when you have a speed of four, you're not really any extra base hits, really. But whatever. Come on, Barry. You got this. Nope. Well, okay. Maybe not. Yep, nope. <laughs> there that goes. Uh, it's alright. Whatever. We gotta run. Who cares? We got something here. You know, we got this. Mm -hmm. Hey! Once Carlos is on I want to see if he wants to party, but I'm going to do that after I, um, hey! after I make this video. So, yeah. You know, see if he wants to do it. I know, I know he's like, usually not, we're not usually doing GTA or anything, but Usually when he parties, he wants to do GTA, and I'm I'm all for that. You know, I'm like, let's just do something. I mean, I'm up late. It's like real late at night. So. Yeah, I could possibly do a couple of different things right now. Yeah, lately I've been getting back into Star Trek a little, Star Trek a little bit. So you know, it's kind of nice. You know, because like, one of the things I like about Star Trek and, and, and franchises in general, I'm not going to say like one is better than the other, but some franchises have that like no one, no that part of them that inspires people. That's what I really love with Star Trek and Star Wars and things like that. That's a ball. That Two balls, you know people no can be good, you know, and not just you know evil. You know, nope. and I, I know that that's a lot of different balls, things, no like, you know, a lot of franchises can inspire you, but I think Aye. Star Trek really gets me, because I'm a sci-fi gal, and that's just where I land on that spectrum, Aye. you know, like, and I, I'm not Aye. also, I'm not also someone that hates Star Wars, I like Star Wars, Star Wars is like, like, it's like the fantasy, obviously Star Wars is sci-fi fantasy, Versus Star Trek, which is more like applicable to real life, it's in a way to me. It's like Star Trek is very much like about like system systematic discrimination and things like that. What? To use that as an example, Star, Star Wars is like more like choose the light side, you know. But they're all good. It's not. I'm really it's not trying to devalue one. one or the other. It's just they have different areas of coming at it, you know. You know what I mean? And I'm like, and it's a deep philosophical shit. But not really, because again, this is mostly just a sports video, and I like sports. I think, um, sports are kind of interesting like, in that weird way of just being like, you know, really good stuff, but not too, too important, but not too, too unimportant, you know? Because I think that sports are very much about like you know i'm all for players speaking their minds and feel like that right you know if you want to sit if you want to take a knee stand up jumping jacks whatever so long as there's like a good cause for it you know i'm usually for it you know what i mean I'm like yeah. if you're protesting police brutality i can get behind that like you know, that's one of those things I kind of disagree with some people on. Is like, oh, they're disrespecting the military, and I'm like, look at. I always kind of look at it like as a white person, but someone that's been kind of Got seeing it. some certain things, you know, through through a certain lens. It's like, yeah, but the, they've been discriminated against their whole lives, you know. So it's like, why would they do that? You know why? You know you know what I mean. And I'm not saying that like as like I'm saying this is the whitest white person you may ever meet. You know, but All I'm saying it's like it's, it's kind of sad actually that people want to make it into an issue of things that's not really about. Kaepernick took a knee to protest police, protest police brutality. You know, something that wasn't getting better. Something, you know, you know what I mean? Something that needed real attention brought to it. And everybody just thinks that he's against the military. It's like, no, he's not against the military. It was never about the military. From what I, from everything he said. 
Do I agree 110% with Kaepernick or ever, anybody on this planet? No. I don't think you should ever go 100% behind somebody. But I think you should also like, not be entirely closed-minded to it, you know? Like, whether or not you thought it was tasteful or good doesn't mean that the issue he's protesting still is, you know, is, is or is not gone, you know? It's like weird how people what? tend to go, you know, make that political for their own gain. Look at the White House people. That guy fucking does that all the time. I got one ball, one and it's strike. like, he does that for his own gain, and I'm literally like, shit and breaks over this next election. Count is two and one. But yeah. Uh, you know, but yeah, yeah, that's like one of those things people forget. Like, who who's the one saying it's all about like the troops and, and stuff? Oh, yeah, the pol political people. You know, like the president and shit. You know, I'm trying to think of exactly who started that that nonsense where it's like, oh, it's all against the military. No, it's, like, it's not even against that. Who cares? It's like. I mean, I, I just don't get it. People don't understand things when they happen in the, until later, you know? And that's sad. I'll leave it at that. Wait. You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy. So we got like three or four more minutes. A little bit more. I get tired of like hearing like bullshit about respecting the flag and like it's not like here's what I mean by that. Like I'm all for not burning the flag. I'm all for that like you know you don't fly it upside down stuff but you know what I mean? That kind of thing. I can all get behind it. I can totally get behind that. What I don't get is when your own physical appearance means you're disrespecting the flag. So it's like that's a little much. That's like Okay, we're just going to have this uniform way of how everybody looks and everybody talks. And I'm not for that, you know? And it's like, you know what I mean? And then they're like, you know, it, it just gets so annoying having to clarify simple shit of, hey, I want to wear a dress versus Kaepernick for like, taking a knee or something. In both situations, I'm all for, you know? So, yeah. It's, it's a weird ass country we live in. I'm gonna leave it at that. Got people like I got somebody that was actually He's out talking with out. that literally doesn't probably doesn't get that when you post copyrighted material onto YouTube they will edit that shit out. Like especially if you're not I mean, especially hey. if you got some followers and shit, like bro. Uh, I and then this is something else I can. I, I don't really want to say don't subscribe or do not do things. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you don't, don't. But one thing I always kind of hate is when people base your self worth on social media. It's like, bro, social media doesn't mean jack to me. Like, I do these videos to get my views out and so that's it. You know, it's not to appease, you know, everybody else. I don't do workout videos or things like that. This guy wanted me to work out. I'm not doing that. I don't care. I, I really don't care because it's like, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not someone that walks around a lot, you know? I'm not someone that likes to do that. And then I'm like told, oh, you got to walk, you want to walk around. No, I'm not do. I'm like, uh, let's, let's take a break. Like, walking, like, all over this earth to, like, get some guys some groceries, I was like, he better, like, I, I almost want to say to this guy, like, look, I appreciate that you helped me out with it, helped my friend out with his cigarettes, but you better have your apartment, you know, ready to go. And I still have shrimp from my car. So I'm like, this guy is oh, hopeless. One. I was trying to tell my friend, dude, just go to Walmart and buy shit that you can get better quality shit than the bodegas around here, and he wasn't really listening to me. So that's all. That's all. That's all good because it's my friend's money. He wants to spend it on a bodega. He could spend it on a bodega. But I was just trying to be like, bro, if you wanted to live with me for like about maybe ten days, five, ten days, you gotta get food that's for the both of us. We don't have like enough to to like 
for both of us. So right now, if you want to get food, you got to get like one some one. ground beef and stuff. Like stupid cheap shit. Like it's like, I don't care if it's ground turkey. We could do that. We could be fine. The count is one and two. And he wants to go to the bodega. I'm like, okay, bro. Like you can go to the bodega, but you know, just just let you know, I don't eat seafood, so good luck with that. All right. Um, I guess that that's not Got ends it. it right. Cause I'm like, I, I usually end these things at the end of innings and shit. But you know, let's um. Actually, you know, because I got the good part of the lineup coming up here, and because I, you know, don't have nothing else to do. Let's see if we can get another run across, and then we're gonna end it. Come this end of the inning here. It might be quick, it might be not quick, I don't know. It's good to do the Mariners, though, to be honest with because I've been holding off on doing this team for a while. And it's like, we already got two out, so I might just end it in oh. about a minute, in about a second, really. Yeah. So I'm like, ugh, I want to keep talking, but I also know, hey, you know, this is going to take a lot longer. I forgot a flash drive at my parents' house. I'm not going to text them right now because that's actually not a good idea. I probably, you know. It's actually important because, um, because I, like, literally don't see the 16 hey. gigabyte one. I got to count it's, one and um, two. That's um at uh at um at my apartment so I'm like crap. Well, uh that has been great. Thank you for watching. As always have a blessed day, great day, whatever you want. And um I will see you in the next one. I'm actually gonna start making some picking adjustments here. And I'm just gonna get these guys up in front so if I could go another inning with my pitcher. But um, thank you for watching. Have a great day and bye-bye.